Hey, good day and thanks for choosing Raspberry Canoe. Today we're going to talk about my upcoming two-night trip to Kawartha Highlands with my dog, baby and wife. So we're hoping the ice will be out of Kawartha Highlands and we're going to go in on Long Lake and do a little two-night loop just to sort of warm up and get ourselves ready for the upcoming season. So yeah, come along and uh, I'll go over some of the reasoning as to why I've chose what I chose and go over each of my little sub-packs in detail. So starting with the sleep kit, we've got three bags from Aegis Max rated to zero, two uh, Thermarest Neo Air pads, which I've had some great success with over the years. And the baby uses this stuff, um, like construction grade insulative bubble wrap. Stuff's like a camper's dream. We're gonna probably go a little longer with her, but that's all she needs right now. Uh, as well as we usually bring a couple of our Himalayan yak wool blankets, but just to demonstrate the size and weight, we're just going to use these guys here because they're upstairs right now on our couch. And the final part of the sleep system is I'll be trying out these reactors. They're not the extreme, they're just the medium, so they're supposed to add about 10 degrees C. I doubt that's what'll happen, but I think they'll add a little bit. They're not very heavy, and I like keeping my bags clean, so it's a bit of a, uh, a sacrifice in weight that I'm willing to make. So these Sea to Summit dry bags are ideal for carrying your sleeping bag and all of your clothing, things you want to keep dry. Now I'm going to split the baby up between myself and my wife and well the dog's just going to stay wet because that's how he rolls. Other little creature comforts are these things here. I think they were like six bucks on Amazon. I couldn't tell you what they are but you know what, when you're sitting down on wet cold logs and rocks. Uh, these things for the amount of weight and size that they bring are fantastic. For our shelters we have the Tent Tarp 3 which I've done a quick video on. I'm excited to try that out. It'll be its inaugural trip. I have the third set of poles in there right now and the footprint at a total weight of four pounds. I'm probably going to drop the poles and uh, I may lose the uh, outer bag as well depending on how things fit. I've got this Light Outdoors, I think it's that's what it is. Yes, Light Outdoors 10 by 12 sill tarp, which it's gonna be its inaugural trip as well, along with some paracord to go around the outside. And we've got a quick little bag here, well, toothbrush aside, with some stakes, a couple of utility nylon ropes that are light and handy. And, I don't know, my wife got this for Christmas, my little Sea to Summit clothesline. So, yeah, we'll try it out. Four packs. I'm hoping to get away with the slog. That'll be our mech slog 80 liter and a little day pack from Outdoor Research to carry most of our sort of day to day things like first aid kit, rain gear, and so on, electronics. For rain gear, we're going to bring in the Natural Hike ponchos 3 in 1. These things are super light, keep you dry, and don't take up much pack weight. For the baby, I actually don't know where we got this. I think it was at Mountain warehouse, sort of an English store. It's just a one piece, completely waterproof system here. It's, I wish I had one for myself, to be honest, they're great. They'll all go in the backpack. Also in the outdoor research pack, we're gonna throw in the old Eddie Bauer down. It's things like putting on warmth and my mountain equipment, uh, super light down coat. So those are going there for warmth along with some of the electronics, which I'll go over in a second. So for electronics, we've got an assortment of different goodies here. We've got our black diamond headlight, our lead lenser headlight. Not gonna be bringing all those batteries, but I will be just going with non-chargeable batteries to start the trip. They'll last the entire trip and then some. It is the first time we'll be using the inReach um, GPS system. Got my phone, I'll be bringing my GoPro, it's not here. Got a little charger pack, and I've got this little lantern, which has done us very well year over year, and all it really needs is one battery to go. Electronics, but I'll put that in the water purification section. I'll be bringing in the Steripen. And of course, my Protrek from Casio, love this watch. So we've got our first date kit. Uh, a little bit of medications here along with a kit that I put in the bag, which is a little more industrial strength. It has rehydration stuff. Um, I've got canoe repair epoxy if necessary, 
bug spray, which I don't think we're going to need extra lighter matches and that type of good stuff. One would argue that that's a sort of a little more redundant than what we really need, but you know what, I keep trimming down, trimming down, trimming down, and giving up things as I go. So I don't mind taking a little extra, but you know, in, in time I'm sure I'll shred some of this weight. So for sharps, I've got two neck knives. One from CRKT and one's just a cheapie from Amazon that seems to work pretty well. I've got my Browning two pound cap axe, love this thing, and that's pretty much it. And I'm bringing in these gloves here. They have um, uh, some extra grip and a bit of cut resistance, which I find might be handy when we're working around the fire and that. So for the baby, we've got a thing of wipes. You know what, we'll go through that in two days and we'll pack them out. And we've got two pull-ups for her for sleeping at night. A little bit of toilet paper, certainly with the wipes, we won't need tons more. So here's our cook kit. We've got two Nalgene bottles, one with this H2 Joe coffee making filter I talked about previously. We've got two B free filtration systems for canoeing and just generally drinking water without much worry. We got the GSI outdoor mugs and the Sea to Summit sporks and the titanium. Uh, three health pro kit with stove fuel and pretty much everything you need inside there I've gone over that kit before as well and Steripen uh, frankly probably do a lot of water boiling uh, like I see the bee freeze being used in the canoe Steripen's just there, but um, it's a great device. I just when I'm camping with time on my hands I find that uh, just having a pot of water boiling all the time works well, too. So for two days, this is a good representation of the food that I'll be bringing. I'll be adding a few more bars and some fun snacks for the baby because uh, for the first two days, she just likes to eat chocolate and garbage until she settles into the diet. But um, I got a couple of uh, you know pre-soaked type dishes here, curry, chickpeas, lots of protein, vegetable based. I've got a backpacker meal or two, a ton of bars. Everybody knows what these guys are. We use lots of those. And I got my bear rope and harness here to hang it up. And uh, that'll go inside this slog just fine. And it'll probably be about twice as much food as that. And finally, I've got this uh, fantasy that I might do some fishing. So I got a Cast King uh, telescopic rod with a kit that I've put together for tomogamy this year. And I'm hoping that will catch some fish, but uh, I'm not that worried about it if I don't. All of the gear. Well, thanks for tuning in. I'll let you know how the trip goes. Uh, we'll have a good uh, post-trip video for you. We're heading into uh, Kawartha Highlands, and we're going to hit Long Lake and go down through uh, Buzzard and do that little loop in around there just for two nights, just enough to sort of get us into the season. Um, I do plan on a 10 day tomogamy trip this year, which I will use very much the same gear, just will be updating my food barrel, I think, to a 60 liter. And um, I'm really quite happy with the way this gear is all set up. So uh, if you like what we're doing here at Raspberry Canoe, please uh, like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, happy hiking. Have a good day. Take care.